I did my workout today, eating my breakfast. I uh, cooked up some bacon, ground beef. This is actually grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. My girlfriend, who's amazing, uh, went to a local farmer in, where is it, Claremore, called The Dairy, and they have grass-fed, grass-finished beef. And so ground beef, bacon, and then I put in about four eggs. And, it, and I tried to not overcook the eggs or not cook them long enough, or not cook them too long to see if I like that running egg in the ground beef. So we'll see how it tastes. Amazing, delicious. But what I, wa I wanted to get on here and talk about last night. So last night was a little challenging. I was going through some struggles. I won't go into the specifics of it. I think everything's fine. I got home about 10 p.m. and started scrolling on Instagram and some people that I don't even follow all of a sudden it popped up and they were doing reviews on crumble cookie and the latest crumble cookies that came out and they looked delicious and I looked at my watch it's about 10 p.m. the crumble cookie that is near me is less than 10 minutes away I thought I could go have a couple cookies and be fine I'll be good. And I thought, no, no, no. Don't give in to the temptation. And then I scrolled through again and some other food stuff came up and I was like, you know what? I could go get, okay, so one of the cookies was a peanut butter and jelly cookie with like this icing or whatever the topping is, peanut butter and jelly. The other one was like a, a, a cake cookie, like it's thick. I don't know if it's quite a cookie, but it's a, I don't know what they're doing lately, but it's got a, it's like a little piece of cake. Oh, it looks so delicious. How do I know what the latest one of the week was? Because I went to the website to see what they were. Yeah, that's their trick is they put out new cookies every week. Ugh. So I think I checked my watch probably five or six times and contemplated and thought I could make it there in time before they close. I could make it there. Yeah. And I'd have I'd have a couple cookies. I try the two, the cake, I'd have to try it, right? It's new, the cake one. The peanut butter and jelly one looks amazing. And why can't I try it? And I'll be fine. I'll be good. Get right back on my eating healthy and be just fine. That's the problem I have. That's the challenge with me is that I have to face those challenges and say no. Because I wasn't going to go do it just to enjoy it, just to try it. I was doing it because I was basically emotionally eating. I wanted some sort of release, some sort of dopamine hit from the sugar and the sweets. In that moment of not having the greatest evening, I wanted some sort of relief from that. The crazy thing is like, if you were a person that drank and you got went and got drunk, it's not looked upon as terrible, but it, it is kind of, it's, it, I guess it's not looked upon as the same as if you went and got a couple cookies, right? If I went and got super drunk, that's different than just grabbing a couple cookies, right? So it's a lot easier in my mind to go grab a couple cookies and be and everybody be oh yeah yeah you were having a rough night so go treat yourself treat yourself but i can't do it in that moment because that was the the temptation that was the a test i guess you'd call it it was a because that would mean i would be falling back into old habits which is what i would do i would drive to quick trip and get and i'd be have a frustrated evening and i'd grab go to quick trip and get a cup a thing of those donuts they have and I need them all on the drive home by the time I got home I, they were all done I'm happy to say that I did not give in I did not go to crumble cookie and I, as weird as it may sound that's a small win for me to say no now I'm not saying I'll never have a crumble cookie I'm not saying I'll never have sweets again but it'll be for the a different reason, not because I'm stressed. It'll be because I want to enjoy some sweets. So for me, that there's a big difference. And if you're a person that binges, you will understand what that difference is. So 
lesson learned, I'm here to tell you, if you get those temptations, hold fast. Don't do it. Man, if you've got to like, just make it through the next 10 minutes and say, I'm not going to do it, don't do it. Whether it's drinking, whether it's eating, whatever it is that's doing you harm that you've got to say no to, just hold on and keep saying no for the next 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes pass, say no again. Another 10 minutes pass, say no again. And it'll go away. Now, of course, it went away for me because I was like, well, I can't get there in time. But by the fifth or sixth time, I was able to distract myself and, and, and thankfully I was able to say no and I was like, that's the choice I made. No, I'm not going to go. So, small win for me. Small win. And hopefully, maybe you watching this will realize you can have those small wins that lead to reaching the bigger goal. I'm going to finish my breakfast now because this is too good. <laughs>